What is up, y'all? My name is Matt from Two Game, and we're here today with another bonus episode. Uh, so we're gonna do a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity trailer reaction. I have not seen it, so you're gonna get my first reaction through it. And I've been saving myself, giggity, for uh for this video. Now I played the original Hyrule Warriors on the Switch, uh, probably about three years ago, two or three years ago, and I liked it. It was, it was all right. It was good. Uh, it's not a game that you would ever play like three or four times, so I'm kind of hoping they have something better for this, and I'm hoping it's something I will enjoy. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump into the video, and we'll talk about it afterwards. On three. One, two, three. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. Okay, so like Breath of the Wild? You are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. One hundred years Looks ago. really good. So it's a prequel. So Breath of the Wild engine in Hyrule Warriors. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, then. Oh. Everyone. All right. Well, that was interesting. So it looks like it has the same art style as Breath of the Wild, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Breath of the Wild is my all-time favorite Zelda game. And I haven't played all of them, but I played, you know, the big ones. And I'm still playing through that game. I haven't done any side quest. And I'm doing the DLC, and I'm in over 150 hours in that game. And I have not done any side quest. None. That's strictly shrines and the main story. And then just fucking around for the rest of my work, my life, you know, but absolutely love that game, and I absolutely love that they, they're using kind of the same art style, which would, I wasn't really, I, I wasn't expecting this to be a prequel, I was kind of expecting it to be like Hyrule Warriors 2, you know, kind of just going around along with a different story, but now it looks like they're going to do a prequel to Breath of the Wild, which is interesting, you know, it, it's something that you would kind of expect they would flesh that out in a mainline Zelda game. And now they're kind of doing it in a spinoff. So that's that's very interesting. And I don't know if y'all y'all noticed, I saw where they were using some of the uh, the, the, the abilities. I, I can't think of them off the top of my head. The abilities, like the t stop time and, you know, all that. It looks like you get to play as the the guardians or whatever, and so it looks like it's more a contained story versus the first Hyrule Warriors where you had just about every single Zelda character in there. So, I I, I hope I can kick ass as Zelda. 
See, that's kind of the one of the things that is rumored about the new game, Breath of the Wild 2, is there's supposed to be some kind of Zelda gameplay in there. And I think that's kind of what everybody wants. On the surface, it's kind of what I want, but it's one of those things where when I'm playing it, I'm like, ah, I kind of just want to play as Link, you know? I just want to slice and dice some, some bitches, you know? I, I really... When I play other games that make me swap, swap characters midway through, um, it's kind of a huge turnoff. But on the surface, I do I do want to play as Zelda. If she can, you know, kill some bitches for me. Because she's a savage. Uh, but I think, it look, I think it looks really good. I think... I'm kind of impressed with how how well it looks. I was not expecting a Hyrule Warriors 2. I think everybody's been expecting a Breath of the Wild 2 to come out maybe this year to kind of compete with the console generation that's up upcoming or it was coming come out in like the spring or something like that, but I saw some news today where they said don't expect any news for a while on Breath of the Wild 2. So I think I think that game is not nearly far along as people might think it is. I think this might be a year 2022 Breath of the Wild game. But this game is supposed to come out in November, I believe, which is technically is is normally right around the Legend of Zelda time. That's usually when the games get released. October, November. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna play this. Like I said uh, in the beginning of the video, the the first game it, it's good. It I kind of just blasted through it, and I mean, it was all right. It was nothing. It, it's not a game that I would say, "Hey, go out and spend sixty bucks on this." I actually borrowed it from Christian, and I wouldn't have paid sixty. It's not worth sixty dollars. It was it, but I didn't dive into. The entire game because I was I forget what game I was playing through at the time I think I was about to jump into Dark Souls and you know I gotta mention Dark Souls in every single video or you know that's the running joke now I think I blasted through that Hyrule Warriors the first one I just did the the main story and I was done with it and that was really the first time I ever played that game but uh yeah uh, I think this definitely looks 100 times better than the first Hyrule Warriors. Definitely looks 100 times better. And I'm excited. And that gives me a little something-something to play on the Switch at work in November. But what did y'all think of of this new Zelda game that's coming out, this little spinoff? Are you excited about it being in the Breath of the Wild engine, which everybody loves? I absolutely love it. And... Or is this kind of like, dude? I kind of just want to play a mainline Zelda game. Just give me, just give me like a, a a remake or something. Give me one of the older games on the Switch. You know, uh, yeah. Just drop a comment below. Oh, uh, what y'all thought about the trailer? And I uh, let's see. This week, I think the the votes are coming out. We're gonna do a video reaction for the Xbox Series S announcement. And I've already seen the trailer for that. I've already heard a lot of news, so it's not going to be anything amazing. But I think we can talk about. I think we can talk about it for a little bit on a video format after watching the trailer, and I think that'll drop. So you you are watching this probably on on Wednesday. This video, uh, you're probably gonna catch the new episode, which is just strictly me. Uh, Christian's gonna be out for the next three-ish weeks so I'm having some fill-ins and yeah uh, that episode will probably drop Thursday or Friday so I'm gonna drop the Xbox Series S kind of maybe like a day or two after the episode to kind of keep keep the content flowing for y'all I don't want to drop it all at once and then y'all have to go a week without having anything from us but uh, if there's anything that y'all want us y'all want to see us do, just uh, just let us know. We'll catch y'all next time on another bonus content.